Hi, I'm Tim Hazelwonder, owner of Tim's Complete Detail and Paint Correction. We detail a variety of things from cars and trucks and SUVs to boats and motorcycles and RVs and campers. Today we'll be focusing on this Citation Mustang business jet. Step one will be a waterless wash. Step two will be a detail spray. Number three will be an alcohol wipe, 99% uh, alcohol, wiping the whole plane down, making sure that you're going to get a good bond with the ceramic to come. Number four, complete compound polish or wax. And the final step is putting on the ceramic and you should have five to ten years of protection afterwards. This is Tim Hazelwander with Tim's Complete Detail and Paint Correction. We are located in Bethalto, Illinois, right off of Exit 10. We also offer on-site mobile details, and we'll come right to you. Uh, call us for an estimate. Today we're going to be putting a ceramic coating on this Citation Mustang business jet. Step one to putting the coating on was the waterless wash. Uh, the waterless wash gets the jet completely clean, free of all bonded contaminants. This particular version, the Belly Soap, is the strongest waterless wash on the market, I believe. Uh, particularly good for underneath or anywhere where there's any soot. Uh, good for the rims, things like that. Pretty heavy duty. Um, this will really get you on your way to a nice detail. However, because it is strong, it lends itself to a little smearing and stuff, which is where step two takes off. Step two is a regular detail spray, just to calm any hazing and to start lending itself toward the detailed side of things. I have uh, Wizards Professional Mystic Spray Wax. Uh, again, I believe to be the best on the market. And this is good for windows, any jams, cracks. This will finish the rims um, and get you on your way. Step three, if need be, depending on each individual jet, will be wax or uh, the polish or the uh, compound. Here we have the polish and the wax. This particular jet had two small black scratches that we had to compound off and then we applied the nano wax um, with different pads both with the buffer um, and then over the whole entire jet from top to bottom with the buffer as well. And This gives you a level of slickness by the buffer heating up that you can't really achieve by hand. Um, after that you should have your paint completely corrected and pretty much to where you want to lock it in and keep it at at that point. Um, so at that point we will wipe it down with the 99% alcohol. The 99% alcohol completely gets rid of all the shine and everything and dispels a lot of what you've done earlier. Um, but you have the perfectly corrected paint and this will allow the ceramic that is the good stuff to bond and last. And that moves us to the final step of the ceramic coating. The ceramic coating, um, here we have Simonized Glass Coat and this is the miracle product that lasts five to ten years and is super hydrophobic and beads water. Uh, you could gain knots, you could uh, gain fuel efficiency uh, at best. At worst, you're at least going to get UV protection, um, protection from chemical fallout, bird droppings, and most anything that they can throw at you is going to stay cleaner, easier, and longer. this way so far. So now we want to make sure we go this way, make sure we're getting inside of every groove. This way. You go one direction and back the other, you pretty much can count on her being a flicker and a whistle in it. If you do it right, the product comes off real easy. It's not like the old days where taking off turtle wax and dead shirt sleeve and you're sweating rubbing it off. You put this on correctly, it, it's a breeze taking it off. White's about the hardest because it's hard to see. Sure that is pretty simple. So now we're going to apply the rubber dressing. This is akin to shining the tires on the car. This really makes it pop and makes things stand out when you're all done and protects all plastic. 
Uh, this is Rubber Care Boeing Approved Arrows Cosmetics. This is my favorite brand. Uh, it's pretty simple, so you don't make a mess and get overspray all over your paint. You're better off to liberally spray it on a rag. I already got quite a bit sprayed on there. Um, kind of blend it, make sure it's all even so you don't push it down and have it run all over like it just did there. And you're good to go and apply it like so. Microfiber rag makes easy work out of it. You want to hold it nice and even so you don't get it over all the paint. And simply wipe her in. This is Boeing approved, no H2O, waterless, wheel and clean. The reason this one's good, there's a few other products McGuire's makes retail at the store and stuff as well. This one just jet approved, but uh, the reason this one's so good is why it's not the world's greatest wheel cleaner, it is waterless. So you can safely use it with no water in a situation like this or out in the cold, you know, um, in the winter time when you're worried about things freezing or just any time you kind of need the convenience. And you simply spray that on there and let it dwell for about 20 seconds. The brush makes it kind of easy. You can do it with just a rag too. The brush gets there and makes a quick work out of it. Hi, I'm Tim Hazelwonder with Tim's Complete Detail and Paint Correction. Today we're going to go over some steps and some products used to clean the interior of this jet. Um, for starters, we have our heavy duty cleaners, we have Paint Perfection from Superior Products, and ready to use car interior surface. This is Boeing approved for jets. Between the two, this will get rid of any bad stains anywhere. Next, we have Car Chem Glass Cleaner, um, obvious for the glass. Uh, no residue, no streak, super friendly, also good for navigation screens, uh, final wipe, pleasant smell, pleasant clean smell. Um, next, and probably most importantly, uh, especially for something like this that's fairly clean already on the protection outside is where you want to go, is the leather and vinyl lotion. This is a conditioner, keeps the leather supple and nice. Uh, you will have to clean first with your all-purpose cleaner and get it how you want it, and then this will protect very good product and then finally and my favorite is the Meguiar's interior detailer this can be used uh, if used mildly you can use it on windows you can use it on your panels your leather your floors this is basically your last touch on anything to seal the deal um, and this will finish it up